If you're having trouble with generic rectangles or don't know what a generic rectangle is, I could recommend my video on generic rectangles, which you'll find in the description of this video. Now we're going to use direct generic rectangles to multiply mixed numbers, in this case three and a half times two and two thirds. So I'll first start with having a generic rectangle here. So with this generic rectangle, I'm going to put my three and a half at the top. Three will represent this, uh, this length here, and one half will represent this length here. I'll put an addition sign so you know it's three. This whole length is three and one half. Over here, this length will represent two, and this length will represent one. Oop, pardon me, two thirds, because it's two and two thirds. So I'll put an addition sign there to say it's two and two thirds combined. So now. All I need to do for each rectangle is look at the lengths of the edges and multiply to get my uh, product for the area of this area. So uh, this is 2 times 3 for length times width gives me 6. So this box is 6. Over here I have this length here is still 2. So I'll put 2 times 1 half. Now a 2 can also be written as 2 over 1. So I'll do 2 over 1 times 1 over 2. That gives me 2 oh, one times 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2. So I get 2 over 2, which is just 1. So, like here, the area of this square is just 1. And here, I have my length 2 thirds, and up here is 3. So this length is 3. So I'm doing 3, which I can also write as 3 over 1, times 2 thirds, or 2 over 3. 3 times 2 gives me 6, and 1 times 3 gives me 3. This reduces down to, because since 3 goes into 6 2 times, whole number 2. So 2 is here. Now, in this square, I have 1 half times 2 thirds. The reason for that is because 1 half is here at the top, and 2 thirds is here on the left. Those meet in this square when moving, when drawing a line horizontal. So this square, I do 1 times 2 equals 2, and 2 times 3 equals 6, so my answer is 2 sixth. I could reduce that down to 1 over 3, since both of these are divisible by 2. I can now divide both of them by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so 1 third. That means that 1 third is the area of this square. Now we have the areas of all four of the squares, and all we need to do is add them up. So I have 6 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 3. So this will combine 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals 9, and then 9 plus 1 third gives me 9 and 1 third. Therefore, Three and a half times two and two thirds is nine and one third. I would normally stop the video at this point, but I do want to add one last thing. A common mistake when, multi when seeing the multiplication of two mixed numbers is to simply go three, multiply the whole numbers, three times two is six, and then multiply the fractions. One times two is two, and two times three is six. Now, as you can see, this is not the same answer meaning you can't just multiply them in this form. You actually have to do something else to get the correct answer to multiply mixed numbers.